Morning all, it's match day. Where are we playing? Middlesbrough, playing Middlesbrough today. We're just trying to rush through Westfield at the moment because they're trying to put all the barriers up, which you can see behind me, to stop all the West Ham fans getting through. So we're going to try and sneak through. We got her a little bit early. See if we can sneak through without them bothering us too much. We've had a few dodgy looks off stewards as if to say, what are you lot doing walking through this way? But I think they cut the doors off at a certain point. So as long as you get there, I don't even know what the cut off point is. If I find out, I'll put it in the details on the video below. But you've basically got to get through before they close it off, or you've got to walk all the way through the houses. And it's a, it's a crazy mental detour, which you don't really want to do. So let's have a little look, see if we can get through. Looks, that's the, uh, that's cafe football. We'll come along to the cow, as you can see here. I probably haven't mentioned, you might be able to see, it's an horrible day today, really, really horrible. So hopefully we can uh, have a bit of, bit of a better result to brighten the day up a little bit. Um, it looks like the gates, they're just about to show, shut the gates. So I'm going to keep the camera rolling so you can see. But when these shut, it's all gone. But we might just make it through, which is probably going to save us about half a mile round trip walk, which I don't really fancy in the rain at all. There we go, let's have a look. What time did he shut, mate? I'm not sure here, maybe 10, 20 minutes, something like that. In about 20 minutes. I just spoken to the fella and he said about 20 minutes. So really, that's about two and a half hours before kickoff that they would close those gates. And I'll just run the camera down there. I mean, it is, that's Westfield that you can see there, but it is all barricaded off. Now, the station, you come in from that way, but the stadium, if I turn it round, is over there. There's loads of building work going on at the moment. And uh, I've just seen David. <laughs> How are you, mate? Yeah, a bit wet, but yeah? Right. yeah, yeah. Fancy seeing you here? I know. Come on, we're, we're on, this is a vlog, mate. Tell us, tell us what you got. So we got the latest, newest edition of Lone Mubbles. If I can actually get into the box, which I can't, but it's always difficult when it's raining, isn't it? Of course it is, and I like the t-shirt, mate. Yeah. Well, we've got the Blowing Bubbles magazine sellers. They're all ready to go. Hello. They're already buying it. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. There you go. Look. Collecting money for charity there. Okay, so this is the entrance to the Olympic Park for those that you want to know. This is this is the best, the only. This is this is the one. This is the West Ham magazine. Okay. I'm going to delve into the box here. Okay. Okay. So. There you go. So we've got Slav on this week's issue. I mean, it's, it's packed full of stuff. Hold on. New picture. We know that guy. We know that guy. There's, there's stuff from Curbs on there. We know about this because we, we featured this in the forum this week. But I mean, it is, it's packed full of stuff. It's a really, really good read. I'm trying to hold the camera and flick my way through it at the moment. Um, you can get it online or you can buy it as a hard copy. I, I, I quite like I like the hard copy, actually. It's a good for reading on the toilet. Um, absolutely fantastic. First home game of every month. David and his loyal minions with their ponchos are going to be selling that at the main entrance to the stadium. So there's a, if I get a zoom in on it, there's the stadium there. Right. OK, I'm going to get a little prediction off you. We need a win, don't we? We need a win. Uh, I'm thinking 2-1. So, clean sheet's not going to home today, I don't think. 2-1, so. so win will do. David? Uh, I was going to go 2-1, but I'm going to go 3-1. 3-1, we're going to do it today. Have faith in Slab, that's what I say. OK, that's really useful. I'm glad they told me where the stadium was, because having a look around, I've not got a clue where to find the thing. Let's have a walk down there. It's her second game. It's your second game, isn't it? At this stadium. Yeah. What was your first game? Who was your first game against? Um, Astra. Astra. How did that work out? Pretty bad. Pretty bad. We lost that one as well. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't have brought you today. Are you bad luck? Don't know. Okay. Are we going to win today? Uh, I hope so. We all hope. We all hope so. Okay. The boat's awake. It's a miserable day, miserable, miserable day. I can smell the barbecue though. There it is. Oh, that's 
smells nice that is. Right, here's the boats. Barbecue's been fired up, like I say. Normally be expecting, it'll be about 150 people down today. As I say, it's quite early before the game. There's the main footbridge over there, for those of you who haven't seen it. There we go. Spot of fishing. Hello mate, you're right. right? Yeah, good man, good man. Right, let's just have a quick show you down inside the boat. So actually, so we got running three boats today. We've got another one moored over there which we can bring over when it's needed. All right, now we've got one bar which you can see over there. That's got Carlsberg and Carly on it. We've got another bar on the other boat and we've got the barbecue. But as you see, it's, it's actually pretty damn spacious. Two toilets on each boat. We're well set up. Right, Amos chat boats are busy, 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 busy. The sun's come out. The boats are full inside. I don't know if you can see that. Loads of people on there. The barbecue's going. That looks absolutely smashing. You all right, Mike? Very good, thanks, bro. All good. Good man. There you go. Mike's got himself a burger. We're going to go and find out what the team is. Okay. We got. Oh. Well, we're an hour before kickoff. The people are starting to make their way into the stadium. The beers are going down well. The burgers are going down well. Now, um, I understand the team is in. So, Geo is going to kindly read the team out to me. Let's get in a. Hold on, the sun's right in my eyes there. Let's get in, let's get in prime vlog position. <laughs> right, there we go. Luke, Geo, the other one. Fellas, can I have the team, please? Can we have the team? Yeah, can you hear me? Oh, he knows yeah, it. it. It's we in his it, brain. Yeah. It's in his it. brain. It's ingrained in his brain. That's obviously a good thing or a bad thing. All right, okay, you know the team, I don't. Let's have the, let's, a goalkeeper, Randolph playing. No, I no. Jones and go. Adrian's a goal. Okay, well, he played well in the last game. Maybe Randolph deserves a chance. Right back. Uh, we've got Byram. Byram, okay, fine. Midfielders, we've, central defenders? We've got Ginge and Reed in the centre defenders with Ogbonna left back. Ogbonna yeah, left back. Ogbonna. Ogbonna left back, that's an interesting one because he played left back for Juventus Italy, yeah. and, and Italy. Italy. During the Euros, yeah. He did, there you go, so that's he's, all right. He's got experience. So. That is a square spec. Uh, Square spec? <laughs> What's a square spec? Look, listen, you guys have been drinking too much beer. That <laughs> is a square peg in a square hole. Okay, mm. midfield. We've got Obiang, Noble and Czech in the middle, with Tori on the right and Dimitri Pai oh, on the whoa, left. Whoa, 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 whoa. In the middle? Well, I assume Obiang's going to be holding when Noble and Czech play in the centre midfields. But you said somebody else. You said Gherkin Tori. Yeah, he's right yeah, wing. Right wing, mate. Sadly, <laughs> Lanzini has been dropped or injured. I think he's injured. He came off injured at half time against Southampton. So, so. so Torre has been picked ahead of Faguli. Yes, he has, which is again, the fans have been on his back, but this may be his chance to really try. But uh, I think the big shock is the man who's up top. Oh, go on, who? It is Mikko Antonio who's up top, mate. He's going to get a chance up top as striker. What do we make of that, boys? Uh, <laughs> I like it. It's got to be better than Zaza. I like it. I like it. It takes a while to set to set in. I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Why not? He, he, do you know what? Village needed to do something different. He needed to do something different. He needs to do a lot different. And this is a lot bloody different. You think so? Well, he's got to provide the crosses. I'm not the biggest fan because I think his strength is arriving late in the box. And I do worry that centre backs are going to be up against him in the air one on one now whereas he's not going to have that run but we've got to get the crosses into Antonio his strength is in the air we've got to supply them but Middlesbrough's weak spot is their left back Torrey's up against their weak spot unfortunately our key man today could be the flop so far OK Luke from the free hammers I, I personally would have put Fagudi in there at right wing but um, Antonio I've been calling for it on the podcast, I'd like to see it. I honestly would like to see it, see what he can do. He's the only one who's scored any goals for us this season. Give him a go. 
give him a go. He's, he needs to do something. I'll tell you what, if it's a loss today, it's really bad news for Billich, I reckon. He needs to win it. Fortune favours the brave. He who dares rodders, as Del Boy <laughs> says. So I reckon we go for it. Let's get in. We'll have a burger. We'll have another beer. And I will see you lot in the stadium. Come on, you iron. On our way to the stadium now. Plenty of Hammers fans around. The sun's come out, everyone's optimistic. Say goodbye to the boats until later. Okay, very quick one for you. Byram does not look happy. It looks like Byram needs to, to come off or at least needs some treatment. Okay, trying to zoom in a little bit. Might be hamstring. It's quite hard to tell, but he went down. He was clutching the back of his leg, which suggests hamstring. Uh, for it called quite urgently for some medical assistance. I'll, let me ask Gio what he thinks about it. Yeah, no ball and that's been signaling to the bench, they need a sub and it looks like, I think it's Arbeloa has gone out to warm up already, so not good for Byron. Let's have a little look, see if we can get Arbeloa somewhere. Yeah, the stretcher's, the stretcher's on, looks like Byron's going to be loaded on stretch. A bit of a shame for him because he's only just come back from this game, so, so early into it as well. Look at a little buggy. It's coming on the pitch, a little buggy. The golf buggy's coming on. 
Hold on, is he allowed to drive that vehicle on the pitch? Okay, it's six minutes into the game. Sam Byron is being taken off by a go-kart, basically. And it looks like our blower is coming on. They're just about to announce it. There you go, confirmed by the Tannoy Arbaloa for Sam Byram. Let's hope our luck runs a little bit better than that today. Six minutes gone. Okay, 15 minutes in, we'll have a little bit of a tactical analysis from Gio. What's been going on in the game? Nothing. It's, neither team's done anything yet. Uh, Middlesbrough have a half chance. That's about it. Boring. Boring? Scathing. But, you know what? We've, we've looked all right. I would say no team has been better so far. So, 15 minutes in. Let's see what's else, what else happens. But we've lost uh, Byram, as you saw earlier. Come on, Payet, son, come on! Oh! Get in! Nice ever! Come on, you win! Oh, bonus cross in! And Sonio unlucky! Come on, referee! As they call that! It's a West Ham corner, we're looking a lot better. A couple of really good attacks here. I'll, I'll say it now, I don't think we're going to lose this game. I've got a good feeling. I won't edit it out, whatever happens. Come on! OK, 30 minutes in. Good little spell of possession from West Ham there, but we just couldn't quite figure out how to break them down. That last pass was slightly missing. A little bit worried about uh, a Gokhan Torre playing in the team. He doesn't quite look up to it, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on him. The shots. Oh! Sorry. Unlucky. Nice on the counter. Very nice. Thirty-eight minutes in. West Ham just won a free kick. There was a foul on the wing. I don't know why he's having a pop at Noble. To be honest with you, not a great ref. Forty-two minutes gone. It's even Stevens, really. Looks like we're finishing the half with an attack. Ogbonna with a throw in. Oh! Oh, oh Craggy! Noble. Noble almost scoring. Turn that one in. Lovely. Og throw in from Ogbonna. Works it well. Noble took the, uh, took the, tried to curl, tried to bend a shot in, fantastic. Hit the top of the bar, bounced down, a bit like Jeff Hurst. Every time in half time, mate, let's have a little half time analysis from you. We're doing all right, but I created that half chance in the 10th minute. Since then, I haven't had anything. We've had a few ch half chance ourselves. Quite worrying that our only goal scoring threat so far has come from Noble, but the potential's there, the potential's there. Um, I don't know. We're, we're lacking something. We're lacking something. They don't seem to be joining up when we launch a counter attack. We seem to be playing as a counter attacking team today. There's not much support when we counter attack. So much pace when we counter attack. Uh, a few times, a few of our players have been a bit behind play, but I don't know. I think I think Billet's just got the right player on the bench there. If he's Bring it on for Gooley, I think that could add a lot of dimension to our play in um, the second half, but we'll see. And who would make way for Fagouli? Torre. Torre does seem to be a scapegoat. Middlesbrough on the attack. 
Eddie clearance from us. We're finishing the half with another Middlesbrough corner. Well, it's still not quite before half time. Three minutes of injury time, as I said. Winston Reid just had to, to clear off the line, basically. Right, that's it. Sounds like the start of the second half. So, better finish this beer, get up those stairs. You all right? Yeah. Okay, I don't know about any substitutions. I don't know if he's kept the same team for the second half. I'm really hoping he's taken Gherkin Torre off. But if you look down below at everybody, no one seems to be in a hurry to take their seats. I think the match has probably started. Let's have a look. Substitution for West Ham United. Substitution. There we go, right. Uh, the reason everybody's cheering is because Gurgan Torre has been replaced by Zaza. So let's hope that brings a little bit better luck. Zaza on Torre off. He had to go off, didn't he? Um, I'm not sure this game's made for Zaza, but he's got he's got to take his chance. He's got to take his chance today. We need someone to score, and we need him to score. Great save by Adrian. Oh my! Well, you'd say he was through on goal. Who's the number nine? The Middlesbrough. Rhodes. We well, used to be thinking it might be Jordan Rhodes. Hard to tell. Um, he was through on goal. Adrian made a fantastic save. Oh no! People! Middlesbrough scored! It looked like Noble had cleared it off the line. The referee had a look at his watch thing. Obviously it was over the line. You'll know better than I will by the time you've watched this. You'll have seen it on Match of the Day. If they show it on a big screen, I'll flick the camera around. But Oh no! Middlesbrough fans are going mental. 51 minutes gone. It doesn't look like they're going to show it on a big screen, unfortunately. Looked like it. Well, it looked. It look, of course, it's going to look to me like Noble cleared it off the line. Middlesbrough fans seem happy bunch, 1-0 to them. It's our corner, I think, or is it our throwing? I don't know, let me try and zoom in and see. Looks like our throwing. They are all over us at the moment. 56 minutes in. And they are all over us. Having said that, Payet, Payet has just dribbled into the box. Dimitri Payet! Dimitri Payet! Goal! Goal! Come on! Get in! Get in! Got 
as stupid as it sounds, I'll tell you, this is how good Payet is. He seems to have decided that he's going to change the game. He's had enough. He's just taken on all comers. What a player this guy is. The applause behind us because Antonio... I'll let the noise die down. Antonio just curled one just over the bar. But Payet's just about to go and take a corner now. We look a totally different team following a goal. The stadium is a totally different place. We just need wins. Payet's taking a corner. It's a short corner. Cleared by Middlesbrough. But what a, what a great, great performance this is turning out to be. In total contrast to the, to the first half. So we, yeah, we're on the attack now. You enjoying it? Yeah. She's a, a young lady of few words. Oh! 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 Sorry. Sorry. I thought we'd scored, but we haven't. Did you think we'd scored? Yeah. We haven't. Probably worth mentioning. Good. Good, nice little bit of defending from our below there. He, he is a proper right back, there's no doubt about it. Substitution, Noble's going off. Noble for Lanzini. Clearly we're trying to win the game here. Coming on, he looks like straight away slotted into a central position. It's one all, 73 minutes. So let's see what Zaza's going to do. Fuck goodness sake, man. What is he doing? What is Zaza doing? You might, you might have seen it then. We had a little sneaky chance of a counter-attack. Came through to Zaza. And it's like on every game, he tries the spectacular. I think he thinks he's playing FIFA, FIFA freestyle or something. Ridiculous. Last game, it was an overhead kick from 25 yards. I think he clearly thinks, delusions of grandeur, I think, he clearly thinks he's a bit better than he is, to be honest with you. OK, four minutes extra time. Four minutes injury time at the end of the half. It's 90 minutes done. So four minutes to, to get the winning goal, basically. I'll leave it out, will you? I'll leave it out, Ref, will ya? Um, must, have been a, must be a couple of minutes left of injury time here. Maybe even one minute. No, hey. he didn't need to do anything. I know, love. OK. Well, I'll just zoom in on the scoreboard for ya. I mean, there's no time left. This surely couldn't be the worst sucker punch ever, could it? There's our goal. That's it. Full time. One all. That's it. Uh, West Ham one, Middlesbrough one at our stadium. Give you a little look around. Stop the rot, I guess. Let's stop the rot. Personally, I think we need a little bit more. Middlesbrough fans are celebrating. Seems like everybody who comes here celebrates. We've got a little international break now, and then the next match is away at Crystal Palace. I've got a season ticket, a away season ticket for that. So I will try and do you, well, I definitely won't try. I definitely will do you a vlog for the Crystal Palace game. They're in good form, Palace, so I'm not totally confident. I would hope for a few changes, but for the real analysis, you want to go on and talk a good game, that's on our channel, hammerschat.com. Uh, have a chat, uh, it's on YouTube, Geo. YouTube.com forward slash Hammers Chat. YouTube.com forward slash Hammers Chat. We're going to talk a good game. We're going to dissect the game now on there. Click below, click subscribe. You'll see far more of these videos, all the old ones, all the new ones. Not a lot to cheer about today, but Payat definitely did show. He was a class act. Do you enjoy your day? Yeah. Not many words, not many words. You struggle to think it was my daughter, really, anyway. Until next time, come on, you irons.